And now, your first alert five weather. We're taking us up to Wolf Creek Ski Area where I've seen some crew milling about trying to get ready for the crowds today. Now, if you haven't already made it up to the mountains, it's going to be incredibly difficult to leave now and get up there in a timely manner. And I'll show you why. It's because we've had at least a foot of snow at many ski areas. It's been snowing constantly over the past 24 hours in the high country. So Crested Butte coming in at 18 inches this morning's report, 14 at Aspen Highlands, Purgatory 13, 11 at Cooper and Monarch, Loveland at 10 inches as well as Arapaho Basin, Wolf Creek coming in at nine and it's still gonna snow pretty much all day long in the mountains. So if I 70, it's open for now, but if I-70 closes today, I would not be surprised. There's already multiple accidents reported up there at this hour. So please be extra cautious. Make sure your vehicle is prepared if you are headed up to the mountains. We have winter weather advisories in purple, winter storm warnings in pink. They last route today. So back here on the plains, we are dry for now, but we are tracking a cold front that will move in from the east today and that will help to bring us a little bit more, more moisture here at the surface and a chance of some showers throughout the weekend. But for now, the clouds really just only in the mountains from our view in Fountain uh, over Pikes Peak. Now we do have a bit of a breezy wind this morning. These westerly winds overnight have kept us very mild. So our temperatures right now, it's already 53 in Trinidad waking up this morning, 51 for Rye and 40s for many of us here in the plains and the mountain valleys. Mild start, it's gonna be a nice day, 50s, 60s out there, up to 55 in the springs. It's just a little bit above average. So in general, most of the snow will stay on the mountain tops today. Quick shot of some light rain for Werfano County for the wet mountain region. And we could see a quick shower anywhere here along I-25 and in the plains today, but it's gonna be very isolated. And we'll, if not, we'll see just some clouds if you don't see a sprinkle today. And then tonight we're gonna get colder because of today's weak front slowly moving in. We're gonna drop to the 20s tonight. And then tomorrow you'll notice the, the difference where our temperatures will be stuck into the 40s. Then by Sunday, I am tracking another chance of maybe a stray shower here and there, but we don't have a 100% bullseye chance of seeing rain this weekend or even a wintry mix. There's just a slight chance and we remain unsettled each day. Then heading, heading into next week, we're going to be quite warm Tuesday, Wednesday, back to the 60s. And then Thursdays where I'm tracking our next big temperature drop. This next cold front looks to bring us snow and you can expect travel impacts for Thursday. For Pueblo, we are tracking a very similar pattern. Nice and mild today, but a gradual cold front passage today will cool us down back to the 20s tonight. And we're stuck in the upper 40s tomorrow. Again, a passing shower is possible, but not guaranteed. We're gonna warm up next week back to 70 by Wednesday before that next cold front Thursday. Canyon City, same pattern, a little cloudy, a little unsettled and comfortable with temperatures this weekend. Then we're getting quite warm Tuesday, Wednesday, back to the 60s before Thursday's front. And for Woodland Park, you could see some snow flurries, might even pick up an inch if you're lucky, but uh, over the weekend, that chance is pretty light. And Alex, I feel like this is the time of the year too, right in the middle of March where we get some bursts of spring, right? Yep. It feels like spring mm -hmm. out there, but you never know on the horizon, a winter storm could be yes. uh, coming at any point in the week. So. Totally. It's usually a roller coaster ride. Yep. So is March, you know, so <laughs> is spring. So thank you so much.